एवरीवन आई एम रचना पाठक फ्रॉम वालचंद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी शोलापुर सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो सेशन वी आर गोइंग टू सी ऑल अबाउट फंक्शंस नाउ फंक्शन इज नथिंग बट अ क्लास ऑफ अ रिलेशन व्हाट विल बी द लर्निंग आउटकम फॉर दिस सेशन एट द एंड ऑफ दिस सेशन स्टूडेंट विल बी एबल टू एक्सप्लेन फंक्शन इन डिस्क्रिट मैथमेटिकल स्ट्रक्चर्स now let us see a simple definition of a function a function takes an element from a set and maps it to a unique element in another set so this is nothing but your function suppose you have a set r and you have another set say z and you want to map the element from this set to this set then it is possible with the help of your function and the mapping is named with a particular symbol so suppose now you have element 4.3 in set r and another element 4 in set z so i am mapping this 4.3 with element 4 so the elements present in r are called as domain and the elements present in set z are called as codomain and the 4.3 is nothing but it is a pre image of your 4 and this is nothing but your image of 4.3 so this is all about a function now let us see a standard definition for function given any two sets say a and b a function named as f from or we say mapping corresponding so these are basically synonyms used for your functions so given any sets a and b a function f from a to b that is f to b so this symbol is used for function a to b is an assignment of exactly one element that is f of x which belongs to b to each element where your x belongs to a that is capital a upper case a it means your set now this is graphical representation of your function you see we have a set b and we have a set a another set a so i am mapping element a to element b that is element from set b to the element to set a and this mapping is done with the f so this is nothing but graphical representation of a function now we have some terminologies which we use in our function let us see in detail with an example so if f is a to b that is a is mapped to b and f of a equals to b where your a belongs to your lower case a belongs to capital a is nothing but your set a and b is nothing but element in set b so b belongs to capital b then so if this is the case then we say a is domain of f your capital b that is upper case b is co domain of f your b is the image that means element is the image of a under f and a is a pre image of b under f so in general we see that b may have more than one pre pre image so these are nothing but the range where r is subset of b of f is read as b such that there exist a where your f of a equals to b so these are nothing but your terminology is used in function now let us see more in detail about domain and codomain so i have given a simple example where your a class grade function see i have some elements over here and i have few elements where we have map these elements to these elements so this is nothing but your domain and your codomain so we find your domain that means elements at this side are mapped with elements from this that is your codomain we have one more example that is a string length function now here we have a a pre image of 1 so basically we are doing nothing but the length we are calculating the string length so for this it is 1 and the image of a is 
So pre image of one is a, the image of a is one. So this is nothing but your pre image and image. Now I have a question for you. Suppose that f is a function mapping students in this class to the set of grades a, b, c, d, and e. At this point, you must say what is core domain and its range. So f's core domain. What will be the core domain for your f and range? Now suppose the grade turns all a's and b's. Then what will be the range of f? But what will be the core domain? So take a pause. Think on it. So the answer is you know f score domain will be always a b c d and e. Of course, its range will be unknown. Now suppose the grades turn all a's and b's, then the range of f is obviously your a comma b, and the core domain will be a b c d and e. So this was all about your domain and core domain. Let us take one more simple example for this. You have, say, set X, and you have another set Y. So the elements in X are nothing but your domain, and the elements in Y are your codomain. So I'll use a function f to map these elements. So I have one comma two, five comma seven, p comma q, jack comma q, and in X I have one five p and jack. And elements in Y are two, five, seven, and gel. Now, my question is, what will be the domain for F, and what will be the range for your function F? So obviously, all the elements present in your X element are domain. So the domain of F is always your X. So this is your domain. Now. Let us see range. We have one five p and jack. One five p and jack as domain. That is nothing but your x coordinate, right? That is nothing but your x coordinates. We have two seven q and q. So these are your y coordinate, which will fall under your range of a function. So here I have two. Comma seven, comma q, repeated will be avoided. And here you have two seven and q. So these are nothing but your domain and ranges of function. One more thing, we have f of one equals to two, right? So this was the case one comma two. So this is read as function of one is nothing but your two. Suppose if it is jack comma q, so this will be read as F of jack will be equal to q. So this is all about your function. Now further we see types of function. In types of function, we have basically three types. First is your surjective function that is also termed as onto function. Another will be your injective function. Which is nothing but your one-to-one -one function, and the third one is your bijective function, which is combination of your surjective and injective function. So that is your onto and one-to-one. -one. Now, basically, in surjective function, all the elements from your domain should be mapped with your codomain in onto manner. It means it is not mandatory to map all the elements. You can leave some unmapped element into your Codomain. Now, in injective function, that is nothing but your one-to-one -one element. So the mapping will be done from one to one. So all the element from your domain will be mapped to your codomain. And in case of your bijective function, it is onto and one-to-one. -one. So the mapping should take place one-to-one, -one and it should be onto. So these are nothing but your types of function. Now in this session. We have studied all about functions. So here are some of the references which I have used during the content preparation of this session. Thank you.